Hi everybody, it's Christina from Pretty Distressed. Welcome back to my channel. Have you ever been super confused when it comes to choosing a top coat for your painted piece of furniture? There are so many options and my goal today is to take all the guesswork out for you. I'm gonna be testing top coats out head to head over white chalk paint. Will it yellow? How durable is it? How easy is it to put on? And not only that, but my good friend Katie Scott at Salvaged by K Scott over on her YouTube channel, she's gonna be testing out even more top coats. So if you wanna be armed with information the next time you go to choose a top coat for one of your painted pieces, just keep watching. Today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. You guys know I'm a huge fan of Skillshare. I have shared about them before on my channel. Their selection of classes is just amazing, whether you are just wanting to have a hobby or you're looking to build a business like me. They have classes on photography and video, marketing and social media, fine art or illustration, graphic design, the list goes on and on. The latest class I've taken is interior design, interior design like a boss by Rose Sprinkle. It's really been helping me with some key points about design and I've been able to incorporate those into staging my furniture for my photos and my video. And I think it's really gonna help you as well when you're going to pick your color for your piece and you're thinking about decorating it for your home. I'm gonna leave a special link down in my description box below. And if you are one of the first 1000 people to click on that link, Skillshare is gonna give you two free months to their premium membership so you can start enjoying all the classes they have to offer. If you are new to my channel, I am a furniture painter and refinisher, and you will normally find me on here making over pieces of furniture, turning them into new creations and showing you how I did it. But I also love to do these comparisons on my channel. I've done a few paint comparisons and I love you know, taking my supplies and showing you guys head to head what paints look like so that you can make the best decision for you and for your project when you're going out to spend your hard earned money on tackling a project. The battle of the top coats that we're doing today is 100% accredited to the genius mind of Katie Scott at Salvage by K Scott. She is a YouTuber, Instagrammer, furniture refinisher. She's super talented and amazing. In fact, why don't you guys meet her right now? Hello, Pretty Distressed crew. My name is Katie. I am the owner and artist behind Salvaged by K. Scott. I have been a full-time furniture flipper out of my home garage here in Ontario, Canada for the last four years. And I am so excited to do this little experiment with Christina this week. I hope that you will take a second to pop over to my channel and find out what my results were. I can't wait to meet you guys. So if you don't follow Katie, definitely go check her out. Check out her video after you finish here. And if you're coming here to Pretty Distressed from Katie's channel, welcome. I'm so glad you're here today. I'm gonna be testing out six top coats today. I'm gonna be doing some water-based top coats, a wax and a hemp oil. I'm gonna be applying these all over white chalk paint. And then through the magic of YouTube, I'm gonna let it cure for 30 days before I come back and see if any of them yellow. And then I'm also gonna do a bunch of durability tests on them that Katie came up with. Can't take credit for them. Um, it was really fun, such a science experiment. So let's go ahead and get these top coats on and talk about them. I'm gonna be using white chalk paint to test out these top coats today. I know people are always really interested on if a top coat is gonna yellow a white paint. So this is the whitest paint that I have in my closet. This is Dixie Belle cotton. Um, it is a pure true white and I'm applying it on this little nightstand I have. I'll eventually strip this off and refinish this whole thing, but I wanted to show it to you on a piece of furniture that has an existing finish. So it's a very similar to what you guys are gonna be doing. I did three full coats of paint on here and then I separated it into six sections to test out all my top coats. So here is my lineup for today. I have Jolie's Finishing Wax, General Finishes Flat Out Flat, as well as High Performance Flat, Rust-Oleum Chalked Matte Clear, Dixie Belle Paint Company Gator Hide, and Shacto Interiors Hemp Oil. To make it easier for you guys to follow along, I did make a little cheat sheet that you can use while you're watching this video. I'll link it below in the description box so you can download it. 
First up is Jolie Finishing Wax and Clear. You guys know I'm a huge wax fan. I'm putting this on with a wax brush today. You can also put this on with a lint-free cloth. You just apply it in every direction and then you wipe back the excess with a lint-free cloth. Wax is gonna give you a very matte finish. It absorbs into the paint really well and you are not gonna have any brush strokes because it is not a liquid form. I also find that wax is really good for if you're wanting to build colored wax or embellishments on top and it's really easy to distress. Next up is hemp oil. I'm gonna be using Shacto Interiors hemp oil today. This you can apply with a brush or a lint-free rag. You apply it, brush it on your paint, let it set anywhere from five to 30 minutes, and then you come back with a lint-free cloth and wipe back the excess. The cool thing about hemp oil is that it's natural. It's 100% pure most of the time, can be sustainably sourced, and it's also food safe, and you can use it to rejuvenate wood or leather. So this is a good option for anybody looking for a top coat that doesn't have solvents in it. Next up is Rust-Oleum Chalked Matte Clear. This is the first of the liquid top coats. You're gonna stir all these up the same and I'm gonna be applying them with this foam brush. This is how I usually apply these. You can also apply them with a synthetic brush. You can also spray them, um, but if you're just starting out, these foam brushes that are like a dollar work really well. This is the most affordable top coat that I'm working with today, and it's also available at big box stores like Home Depot. The next water-based liquid top coat is General Finishes High Performance Flat. If you are a old time subscriber and follower of mine, you will definitely recognize this one. I use this in my nightstand makeover that has like two and a half million views and my banister makeover. So I use this on top of stain and paint. General Finishes doesn't necessarily recommend using this on top of chalk paint, but I'm a rebel. This is General Finishes Flat Out Flat, and this one is designed to go over paint. It's made to look a lot like wax, but in this liquid top coat form. It's a little less durable than high performance flat. I've actually tried all these top coats that I'm using on full projects before. This is the only one that I haven't used, but I am looking forward to using it in the future. And last up, another one you may recognize from other videos, a Dixie Belle Paint Company's Gator Hide, and I'm gonna be applying it with their sponge today. I like to dampen this a little bit before I apply this. This is Dixie Belle's most protective top coat. It can be used on paint and it can be used on their water-based stain and their oil-based stain after it's dry for 72 hours. It's very durable and it's very water resistant. We are really testing out durability today. So I did three coats of each top coat, checking the dry time on the can in between each coat. And by the power of YouTube, I have now let these cure to their hardest state for 30 days. So here are the results. What is absolutely crazy and what I am totally shocked by is that none of these yellowed. I took the tape off so you could see the original paint color before it was top coated. Now, just because these didn't yellow doesn't mean that they're guaranteed to never yellow over white paint. Every wood species is different and every piece is gonna react differently. So if you're nervous about it, you can always seal it with a tannin blocking primer before you paint. And it's pretty hard to see sheen on camera, but the hemp oil and the wax that you can see here are definitely the most matte. The Flat Out Flat by General Finishes is very similar to the wax and the hemp oil, and then the rust is just a little bit shinier than that. And then the General Finishes High Performance Flat and Gator Hide are probably the shiniest out of the bunch. Before I start the durability test, I just want to mention that I didn't really have any issues with any of these streaking because this is white paint and that hides it really well. I'm really interested to see what happens on Katie's dark paint. Now for these durability tests, we are going to extremes. We're gonna leave everything on here for 30 minutes. No coasters. Um, I'm dripping the bottom of my coffee mugs with coffee and I am drowning my wine glasses in wine as well.
And to mimic a stain you might get from some greasy food, I'm doing a little olive oil on each section. And then my little Lego friend here is going to help me with my scratch test. So I'm going to let everything set for 30 minutes. Like I mentioned, this is extreme testing. Hopefully your cups wouldn't be drenched in wine and coffee. And it's always best to wipe things up right away. I'm going to sound like your mom. Try to use coasters and placemats as well. But here we are after 30 minutes, I'm going to pull everything off and then I'm going to just take a regular paper towel and wipe off any condensation and wipe off the oil and wipe off the coffee and the wine and see what we have. So here are the results after wiping everything down with a clean paper towel. I'm actually really happy to report that there was no condensation damage to any of the top coats. So with a water glass, sweating water, a big ring when I picked it up, but as long as I wiped it up right away, there was no ring, no residual ring left on any of these top coats. The hot coffee and the wine were definitely a different story, so I wanted to give them a little bit of help. So I got some warm water and just a gentle grease cutting dish soap, and I'm gonna lightly scrub all these rings. This definitely helped clean these up a little bit more, but none of them completely disappeared. There were ones that disappeared more than others. Like I mentioned, this is extreme testing. I don't think you're going to be putting stained coffee and wine glasses on top of your dressers in your foyer or in your bedroom, but this is just a fun way to see what would happen if somebody came over to your house and trashed your furniture. I decided to give these a rating from one to five, one being poor and five being good for how well I was able to get these rings out. Starting in the top left corner, I gave Dixie Bell Paint Company Gator Hide a five for getting these rings out. General Finishes High Performance Flat, I gave a three. General Finishes Flat Out Flat, I gave a two. Rust-Oleum Chalked Matte Clear, I gave a one. Those were pretty bad. Uh, the Shecto Interiors Hemp Oil, I gave a three. And then the Jolie Finishing Wax, I gave a four. For the scratch test, you could only really see the scratches from the side with the light shining on. The Gator Hide, I gave a three. The General Finishes High Performance Flat, I gave a five. You couldn't see them at all. The General Finishes Flat Out Flat, I gave a three, and then the Rust-Oleum Chalked, the Hemp Oil, and the Jolie Finishing Wax, I gave those all a four. Like I said, you can't see these scratches from the top. White is really forgiving with this, and I also gave them all a pretty high score because none of the paint chipped off at all. For the oil spot test, I gave everybody a five except for the wax. You could see a pretty noticeable grease spot from the olive oil, but all the other ones you couldn't see anything at all. So that was the battle of the top coats, and now you get to choose your winner. You know how I am. I don't play favorites on here. I just like to equip you guys with all the information I can so you can make the best decision for your project and your budget. So I hope this helped. Don't forget to download that cheat sheet for all the info on the tests and the pricing of all these. And I always love to see how passionate you guys are about your top coats, so don't hold back in the comments. Thank you guys for joining me for today's video. This one was so much fun. Thank you to Katie again for this amazing idea. Don't forget to check out her YouTube. If you want to see more of these in the future, please let me know what products or paints you want me to try out. I will be back next week with another project. Thanks for being here, you guys, and I will see you next time. Those wine stains are going to be rough. <laughs> yeah. I need something to say something else about Katie. Katie Scott. Oh, this red wine is. Oh my gosh, look at the wax.
What? Look, the best. There's a fly flying to my shot. <laughs> you see him? Go away. Don't fly in my shot again, or you're going down. All right, let's try that again.